Hi everyone, in this video we'll be taking a look at Clementine Music Player. It's a cross-platform music player available for Windows, Mac and Linux. So I've got it installed here in Ubuntu. The install instructions are in the description below. It's optional to add the repository, it's only if you want to get the, a much newer system. Here it is, so I've got all my songs listed here in Artist to Album. So there's loads of customizations you can do in this. So I can even change that grouping, which group by artist, album, genre, and advanced grouping. There's loads of features in this music player. So we'll look at preferences. So we've got fade out and changing tracks. So it can display song information. That's the system shortcuts. So notifications, this is pretty cool. You can have this fancy on-screen display. We can switch between the default desktop, so that would be the basic black one in Ubuntu, but I prefer the pretty one. You can customise the background colour, text colour, and well, the background there. So that's pretty cool. So you've got various folders you can put as your music library. You can use lost.fm, which I've never used before. Megatune. Background streams, it's a bit of a laugh that is. Just little background effects you can put on the songs. Uh, adding network proxy and even be able to use Wii Remote Control. Or Wiimote. So let's just play a couple of songs. We'll take a look at it. Oh, not this classic here. Let's just mute it so I don't break YouTube's rules. Got a nice, nice little waveform at the bottom. You can choose whether you oh, love the track or ban it. It's clearing the playlist there. Get all the song information. Oh, it doesn't have that one, does it? It does have Freed from Desire, so let's go for that one. There we go. The artist information. Ah, she's rather lovely, isn't she? Song's pretty old though. I don't know how old she is now. So there's another features we've got in here. We've got a cover manager. So you can change the covers for any of her albums or even try and look some of them up. Well, no, that one's not in there. Let's see what other ones it's got for here. So search for album covers. So I could change it to one of those. Uh, 15th anniversary, eh? Actually, that's not a very good selection for that one, so let's try Cascada. There's loads, they've done loads of songs, haven't they? There we go. Uh, there's not many there. Uh, if you change your search... Uh, that's better, isn't it? Loads of results now. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Do you want an equaliser? Visualisations. Don't full screen that. Ooh, pretty nice, eh? <laughs> There's loads of visualisations in there. Can we get the selection? Yeah, so we are. Select visualisations. I say choose from list. Oh, just a few. Just a few. We'll go for random. And the other weird features where you can put rain in the background or even Hypno Toad. The Hypno Toad from the old Futurama. We'll have kittens. Yeah, not just have kittens, there we are. Let's change the pictures to kittens. There you go. And if I just scroll through them, there are different kitten pictures. So if that's what you want. I think I particularly do though. So, I'll take that, there we go. That was Clementine, nice feature rich music player. Just one last thing, if you're in Ubuntu, you can change the default application so Clementine replaces Banshee. I'll just show you that one. So I, I'm starting to type default there, but the application is preferred applications. Just go to multimedia, do a custom command, and just type Clementine there. It works nicely. We've also got the controller under the sound icon. 
yeah, it's pretty good. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.